In this video, I'm going to show you how to use multi-login to scale your affiliate marketing business. And for those who don't know, multi-login is a powerful anti-detect browser that lets you run and manage multiple social media accounts without getting detected. And for an affiliate marketer, this means you can scale your earnings pretty quickly. And as you can see right here, I personally use multi-login to manage multiple TikTok accounts without having any problems and also you can use multi-login to manage various facebook ads accounts and google ads account as well without having any problem so don't worry i am going to show you how to set up everything correctly in this video so the first thing you want to do is to click on the first link in the description and it's going to bring you to this page and as you can see right here they have an all new version which is called the multi-login x which has advanced features over the previous multi-login. The all new multi-login X allows you access its features through OpenAI, which means you can customize it to your own liking. And you can even develop your own extension for automation purposes on your browser profiles like fingerprint masking, which mimics human behavior and lowers the chances of getting detected by any platform. Also, the OpenAI allows support from other automation tools like Selenium, Puppetia, and Playwright. The all-new Multilogin X also allows you to save your browser profile locally to your device, which means you get an exceptional speed whenever you are accessing these profiles. Another cool feature of the Multilogin X is that you can now invite members to your account, which means you can assign them to specific roles like owners, manager, user or launcher which can be very useful when you want to manage multiple browser profiles and get your project done quickly you can simply do this by clicking on workspace and here you can add a member and you can assign a role to that member unlike other anti-detect browser you can access your multi-login profiles from any web browser of your choice so now to create an account on multi-login all you need to do from here is to click on the get started button so once you do that it's going to bring you to this page where you literally need to enter your email address and your password and you want to agree to terms of service of multi-login and you will be able to create your account so once you create your account you want to over to the top right section of your account and here you want to click on this section so once you do that it's going to bring you to this page and here you want to pay for any of the plans that fit your business needs so once you purchase any of the plans you're going to see the name of the plan you purchase right here and all you need to do is to then click on this button right here that says agent okay so once you click on this you will be required to download an agent that lets you connect to your profile easily and now you want to download whichever one for your respective device okay so since i'm on windows i am going to download the one for windows okay so once you download it to your device all you just need to do from here is to click on connect to agent okay and here you want to click on open agent so once you do that as you can see it says agent connected okay this means you can now create and run any profile right away okay so before you create any profile what i always like to do is to come over to groups so if you come over to groups you want to then create folders and this is going to make things easy and organized for you as you can see i have various groups under google tiktok and facebook so if i click on google as an example as you can see it's going to show me all profiles that i created for google ads purposes all right so if i go back you can see right here i have another for facebook right here and this is going to show me all facebook ads account that i'm managing on my account so this feature is very useful as it makes you organized so all you need to do to create a group is to come over here and click on new group and now you want to give the group a name so you want to type in the name of the social media platform you want to manage on your account so i'm taking reddit as an example here and now you want to click on create group so once you do this as you can see we now have a reddit right here okay so if i click on this reddit and now if i want to add any profile to this reddit all i need to do from here is to click on add new profile okay so if you click on new profile as you can see you can give your profile a name so once you give this profile a name you can save the data of this profile on cloud or you can save it locally to your device which is going to help you run your profile faster okay so once you do this the next thing from here 
is to click on next so you can use any proxy of your choice but i recommend you use node maven proxy so if you come over to node maven all you need to do is to select any country of your choice right here okay so i'm going to take united states as an example all right so if i click on united states right here okay i can select any state in the us and i can select any city of my choice and you are going to get the details of your proxy like the username password host and port as you can see right here so these are the details you want to input on your multi-login browser so as you can see i have input all the details that i got from node maven proxy right here and here you want to click on check proxy to make sure it's working properly so if it's working fine as you can see it's going to show you the ip address and the location of that proxy so now you want to then click on next so now you want to also click on next again and keep in mind you can customize any of these fingerprints anyhow you like it but i recommend you leave it as default okay so now you want to click on next again so you can select cloud storage or you can select local storage so if you want a very fast access to your profiles i recommend selecting local storage and once you do this all you need to do is to click on create all right so as you can see right here this reddit profile has been created okay and now to access this profile all you need to do from here is to click on launch so once you do this as you can see automatically show you your ip address right here as you can see so as you can see everything works perfectly with this profile without any problems so this is how you can create profiles easily and you can run as many profile as possible so once you're done doing everything you need to do on your profile all you need to do from here is to then click on stop so as you can see it's going to say profile data saved all right so now this is how you can also create as many profile as you want so you can come over here and you can clone this profile if you like so another thing you can do if you don't need a profile anymore all you need to do from here is to then click on move to trash bin all right so as you can see the profile is now in the bin so whenever you want to use this profile again all you just need to do is to click on this restore button and now if i go back to our profile as you can see it has restored that deleted profile back so this is a very good feature that you can enjoy with multi-login x all right and as i mentioned before you can come over to the workspace section and here you can add members to your account which you can assign different roles that they can help you manage your profiles and you can use this feature to scale your project faster and now if you want to customize any feature or you want to do any form of automation all you need to do is to come over to the api section and you want to click on documentation so if you do that it's going to bring you to this page where you can have more information on whatever you want to automate or customize on your multi-login account and if you have any question at all all you need to do is to click on this chat button right here and you'll be able to reach out to their support team via email or you can chat with them in real time so basically if you have any question like i said reach out to them and they'll be more than happy to help you out